What's up y'all? Coming at you today with another little gun unboxing and test firing video. Uh, as you can see, we got us another little Rock Island Armory little gun here. This time, we are looking at the model 206 little revolver here. Uh, 38 Special Revolver, like I say, Rock Island Armory. This is that little model 206, a little, I guess you'd call it the little detective model. I always, I always think of a like an old-timey detective type movie or show or something when I see this little gun here. Just a neat looking little gun. I've always wanted to pick this little thing up just because of the looks of it, if nothing else. But um, let's see what we get with it. Obviously, we get the little case. I really like that Rock Island gives you these little hard cases for the money. I mean, you can't beat it. This gun, if I remember correctly, it was 239 I'm thinking it was so an inexpensive little revolver um but you get the the standard affair with it you get the case like i say uh you get your owner's manual of course you get a uh a, a hanging target as my buddy boomstick likes to call them uh you get uh, the the stop warning that if you don't know what you're doing get a little bit of common sense before you mess with the gun uh you get uh it's pretty neat that Rock Island does this here too. They do a little, uh, they send you the casings from where they do the test firing. So got me two cases. They actually looks like they shot a regular brass and then a little nickel plated one. So that's pretty neat. But got me a couple more cases for reloading there. Uh, then you also get, it comes with the wooden grips on it. They also send you an extra set of plastic grips here. And I could definitely see these being much easier to hold on to and get a grip if you're going to do, be doing a lot of shooting with this thing. But I'll be honest, part of the what what uh, drew me to this little gun is those wood grips. I just like the look of those wood grips on it. I think the plastic grips would completely change the look of it uh, totally. Now, like I say, I can definitely see these being much easier to shoot. And I'll be honest with you, uh, I'm recording this after my range day. I kind of, I'm here lately, I've been doing a bunch of shooting with a bunch of guns. Then I'll come back to the house and do my little unboxing on it. But um, I can definitely tell you, it, this thing's, uh, with, with large hands, you can see how much my hand, I had to do kind of a weird hold, like put my thumb down like that. So, you know, I didn't smack my thumb right here. My, I just got kind of big hands, like I've mentioned before. Before and you can see, man, I have <laughs> my hands just just eat that daggone handle up. But I really like to look at that, so I'll probably stick with those wood grips to be honest. But uh, anyway, that's what you get with it. Uh, so being that this is a revolver, there ain't a whole lot to say about revolvers, as y'all know. I'll give you some of the little measurements. It's a pretty compact little gun. Uh, looking at a little bit. A little under about six and three quarter inches something like that weighs uh just a tiny bit over of one and a half pounds does have a three inch barrel pretty sure that's a three inch barrel no actually i'm wrong it's got a two inch barrel so two inch barrel uh like i say a little under one and a half pounds it does have a transfer bar safety let's take this out six shot six six shot six round capacity it's got your little ch empty chamber indicator in there too uh, does have a, a transfer bar on it as you can see down there seeing the transfer bar coming up there um, Other than that like I say for a revolver ain't a whole lot to say about it got the ejector rod there Got a nice parkerized finish on it, which I like I did uh, the sights on it ain't the greatest I mean you got a standard slot sight back here, and then you just got a ramp up here Which I have already whited out because my eyes ain't the best even are even now so uh had to had to put me a little wipe so I could pick up on that. But uh, let's do a little quick trigger pull on it with the trigger pull gauge and see how uh, what kind of weights we talking about there. All right, let's see what we get here. Got a Wheeler pull gauge here. We're gonna do uh, double action first, and then we'll do the single action. We'll do five of them. Let's let's clear that out. Here we go. Eight pounds, fifteen ounces. Eight pounds, 14 ounces. Nine pounds, seven ounces. Eight pounds, 11 ounces. And eight pounds, two ounces. So we've got a, a double action pull of eight pounds and 13 ounces. So almost nine pounds for a double action pull. So that ain't bad at all for double action. That's kind of, that's, that's on the lighter side when it comes to double action. So let's see what we got on the single action here. All right, we'll do five of these too. Ooh, three pounds, 11 ounces. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Three pounds even. 
two pounds seven ounces. two pounds nine ounces and that gave us a five pull average of two pounds fifteen ounces so about three pounds on the single action trigger there as y'all can see so pretty nice trigger on this little gun for sure all right so yeah pretty nice little trigger pull on this gun it feels really smooth just pulling it by hand man it, it's really smooth uh the single action is super little crisp light single action so i'm really happy with this gun so far but uh yeah that's, i guess that's enough chit chatting at it here on the bench that's about all there is to say about it pretty neat little uh neat little revolver i think but let's get this sucker out to the range let's let the gun shots do the rest of the talking all right y'all let's see what this little stubby thing can do the uh rock island model 206 little 38 special revolver as y'all can see i got a six of them loaded up here federal american federal american eagle 180 grain full metal jacket so we're gonna see what this little thing will do i'm gonna uh we'll do the single action first on this first cylinder full up close here again y'all i'm probably sure y'all probably know if y'all seen my videos this is 10 yards in the middle these on the side are around 12 ish so uh let's see what this little thing can do i'm gonna work with the with the single action on it first see what she does i will tell you this as y'all seen in my in the little uh unboxing before this shooting here these little grips is is they hard to get a hold of with my size of my hands, man, that's for sure. But we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do with it. All right, single action on this sucker right now. See what, see what we'll do with her. All right, that shot good there. We'll run them all in single action, I think. All right. I think I hit on the left there. Same thing there on the left. Low and left. This little sucker's hard for me to get a handle on. That might have been it there. Now that was it. Yeah, that was it. This little thing's hard to get a handle on, man. I can definitely tell you that much. So let me get us another cylinder full. Let's see what we can do with the double action. All right, got a six more rounds in this little booger. I don't know if I said 100. I might have said 180 uh, on that first round, but these are 130 grain full metal jackets, 38 special. Y'all probably already caught on to that, but we're going to do the double action on this one, see what it feels like. I'm telling you, man, that little old grip right there is hard for me to get a hold of. I mean, hard for me to get a hold of, brother. I don't. I can't figure out uh, just how I need to hold this thing, man. It's just uh, if I was actually going to carry this gun, I'd probably put them plastic grips on. As much as I like the looks of these wood ones, I'd probably put them plastic ones on. Maybe we'll do a. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video to, uh, comparing the two grips, seeing how good I shoot one versus the other. All right, let's get at it with some double action here. Let's see what we get. Man, I got to figure out the hold on this little old stubby thing. I'm telling you, brother. This thing, I'm having to wrap my hand. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Let's get it. Man, that thing shot good. That's pretty good group on that double action. I think that was it, right? Yeah, that was it. That wasn't a bad group on that double action right there. I believe I grouped better with the double action than I did with the single, man. So I'm going to load this one more cylinder up. We're going to do a couple little, uh, I want to I wanna chrono it right quick. Let's see what the speed is on this thing. All right, let's see what kind of speed we can get out of this little old stubby thing, man. Uh, the box, uh, again, these 130 grain uh, Federal American Eagle full metal jacket. Box is calling for 890 out the muzzle, but I don't expect that on this little stubby thing. But we could be surprised. Let's see what we get here. I'm gonna go single action for all these, so less chance of shooting my chronograph. Because uh, this little stubby thing, this is this is about the first time I've been actually a little worried about shooting my chronograph. So let's let's see what we can do here, and not and not shoot it. Seven seventy. Yeah, I didn't figure we was gonna be. We's gonna be uh, up at 890. 755. 
768. Seven fifty one. Seven forty three. And seven thirty one. I tell you what, man, I'm putting them on target though. This little gun shoots good, buddy. Man, this is a good little shooting gun. You see the group down there. I think y'all can see it pretty good on that target. This little gun shoots good, man. So uh let's see what the average is on that. So you're looking at an average of 753, 753 feet per second out of that little old stubby. So that ain't too bad. Like I say, man, I'm actually impressed with the grouping on this little old stubby thing. So let's get us one more cylinder and we'll, we'll call this one done. All right, got us one last cylinder fold up, man. Let's put them on out there. I, uh, I'm pretty happy with this little gun the way it shoots. I've kind of figured out a grip. Man, you really got to grip this thing weird with that skinny little handle, but I think I got a, I got a little bit of a grip figured out. It ain't got much recoil, so it, you can kind of grip it a little funky and it ain't going to hurt you too much. Uh, so let's, let's put these out here. I'm going to probably stay close. I might try to hit that red one down there. That's about 15 yards. I ain't, I ain't looking for no distance out of this gun. I'll be honest with you. I'm just, uh, this would be, this would be, if I carried it at all, it'd be a up close and personal kind of thing. Thing. so let's see what we got here let's see if i if i got it figured out good enough yet oh yeah right on the money on that Tell you what, man, this little gun shoots good, buddy. After I got a, that first group wasn't too good, but after I got a hang of how to grip this thing, it ain't bad. Let's go down there. Let's see if we can get a lucky. Oh, yeah, we hit that 15 yard. This little thing shoots good, buddy. I can shoot this better than some other stuff. So, man, hey, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this little gun. I'll be honest with you. The Rock Island Model 206, 38 Special, a little stubby thing. Uh, like I said, y'all saw earlier, it does come with some, with some plastic grips, but... Hey man, if you can, you can figure out your grip, I'm kind of having to hold it like this number here and get my thumb down out of the way so that so the little cylinder don't come back and smack your thumb like that. But after I figured it out, that's pretty decent, man. I ain't, I ain't mad about that little stubby thing at all. So uh, uh, again, man, no troubles. Y'all seen it run out where we put three, four, four cylinders through it. So it's running pretty good as far as I can see. But uh, if y'all like the video, uh, give me the thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you got one of these little rock islands, how, what you think about it, how good it shoots for you. If you don't like it, if you do like it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. But in the meantime, y'all stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see y'all soon.